a few years ago, uh, we had a couple come to stay with us. Um, I'm not going to mention names. He was a French musician who also uses music to heal people, and he was going through some sort of crisis, so they had heard about me, and uh, they came to visit, and we spent, uh, they stayed overnight in our house. They came with their son, who was a couple of years older than me, and their son had the unfortunate experience of having people get better around him. Uh, so this couple like put this little dude on a pedestal uh, because I don't know I call him little Buddha. And he was okay. He was he was an okay kid. He was spoiled rotten. Uh, like I said, his parents had tried to have a kid for a while. I didn't say that, but they'd had tried to have a kid for a while, and they finally had this miraculous happening. And they had to cook special meals for the little Buddha because he didn't like this and he didn't like that. And yes, we had. We were with our baby number five, Amy, and uh, our kids eat what we eat because they're the same as us. Well, they're not. They're real different from us, but we just would cook food, and if they didn't like it, well, they didn't eat, and they pretty much liked what we liked and a lot more. Uh, I was at a buffet in Texas with a friend of mine, Randy Elliott, and we went through the buffet, and Naomi was about four or five, and one of the other kids was with us, and they were going through the buffet, and they were picking up mussels, and... Uh, shrimps and oysters, and he looked and he said, these are really little kids, aren't they? Because we let them eat whatever they want to eat. And we've not made anything special, but they, these people cook little Buddha, his special pasta, because you could only eat dry pasta with no sauce on it, because that's all he ate. And we were sitting at dinner, and he was sitting next to his mom, and he whispered something to his mom, and I said, hey, excuse me, as he started whispering, I said, we don't do that at my table. What? I said, we don't do that, we, we don't whisper, because I think it's real, I've, I, and when I was a kid, I learned that was real inconsiderate and impolite, so we don't whisper at my table. If you have something to say, say it to the table, or, you know, just don't say it. And he looked me right in the eye, and then he turned to his mom, and he said, whispering again. <laughs> so I did what I do, I went, hey! And the whole table jumped. And I said, now one of two things just happened, little man. I said, either you didn't understand what I said, or you did understand what I said, and you chose to ignore it. I said, so, here are the rules of my table. We don't whisper. None of us whisper. I don't whisper to my wife. I don't whisper to my child. You don't whisper to your mom. Nobody whispers at my table. If you want to whisper, knock yourself out. I said, because you will leave the table. You won't finish dinner. You won't eat dinner. You will not sit any longer with us. You will leave the table because it does not happen in my house. And I looked at his dad, who was looking at me pretty intensely. I said, is this okay with you? And he said, this is fascinating. <laughs> I have fun with people. I enjoy them. If you come to my house, we have one rule. We have fun. If you don't see to that, you leave. Have a fun evening.